Yo, 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 what's up, people? This your boy P. Ross back in the building. Yo, we're about to get into this uh, review of this great Star Trek watch that I got. But uh, anyway, I'm a big Star Trek fan, as you can see. Um, from Enterprise, I'm actually watching uh, Enterprise upstairs, so the first set is gone. But as you can see, this is what they call the Captain's Collection. Okay? The Captain's Collection, right? Alright. Um, you can get these at uh, Rick's Graphics for free. You can download them and print them out. You know what I'm saying? So I took all my original DVDs out the, the other packs because I like this so much that I got these. Printing them, downloading them out. Starting with Star Trek Enterprise. So you got Captain Archer. Um, then the original series, you got Captain Kirk. Then you got uh, Jean-Luc Picard from The Next Generation. And then uh, Captain Sisko from Deep Space Nine. And Captain Janeway. And here go all the movies right here. Then up here I have the ship. The original. Captain James Kirk of the USS Enterprise. NCC 1701. You know what I mean? But I got to give a shout out. To the greatest villain of all time, Darth Vader. He the greatest. I don't care what y'all say, Darth Vader the greatest. So, you know what I mean? Let's get into this review of the Star Trek limited edition watch. All right, people, let's get into this. You know what I'm saying? You know, but, you know, we need that coffee. It's early in the morning. You know what I mean? And also, I'm rocking the Omega Seamaster DeVille. Mm, bang. But anyway, yeah, we're going to get into this uh, Star Trek collectible watch. Again, like I said in the intro, big Star Trek fan. You know, here it is right here. Oh, man. I love this watch. I love the show in general. I mean, like, from Enterprise all the way up to Voyager. I haven't really gotten into uh, Star Trek Discovery, but I'm working my way into that. Um, the movies J.J. Abrams have done in the last few years, they have been great. I've enjoyed those. But, uh, yeah, so, you know, and I'm going to go ahead and let y'all know, like, right now, in order of the series and which ones I like the most. Starting with Star Trek The Next Generation. Although The Next Generation wasn't the first Star Trek series I saw, of course it was the original series, but The Next Generation probably is, is definitely my favorite of all the Star Trek uh, TV shows. Um, then I will go with the original series. Uh, love the original series, classic of course. Um, and it was weird is what I would do next is Star Trek Enterprise. Um, people that I talk to that like Star Trek don't necessarily give Enterprise a lot of love. You know what I mean? But I love Star Trek Enterprise. Um, it went four seasons. I thought it should have went more, but Hey, it is what it is. Um, and then I go with, uh, Deep Space Nine, Captain Sisko, and... Voyager with Captain Janeway, you know, although I love them all, you know what I'm saying? Like, but that's the order. And then I would throw the, uh, the animated series in there last because they had an animated series after the original uh, series. So, yeah, so that's where I would go with that. You know what I mean? So let's get into the Star Trek watch review. And here it is, people. So let's go ahead and check him out let y'all see what we're working with you know what i'm saying this watch was produced by uh paramount pictures in 1998 definitely a super collectible look at that the second hand is actually the enterprise it's floating around the top of the dial that is so, so dope. Yo. All right, let's 
take it out. Just take it out. Like the packaging too. The packaging is great. So let's uh, uh frame it like this. Yeah. Alright, cool. Alright, here we go, y'all. This about 34 millimeters K size stainless steel. Let's look at the back of that. Let's get a close up. You can see the Paramount Pictures, 1998 Paramount Pictures, uh, Japanese quartz movement. The back is kind of banged up, but it's all good. You know what I'm saying? Stainless steel, case back. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much it for this watch. Nothing really special, but that second hand is like banging out of control, though. That is like banging. Yeah. Star Trek. This is my shit, man. This is my shit. The leather strap. Yeah. Again, this is a collectible watch, so um, I'll probably wear this today. You know? Because it is. For me, as far as, like, I'm a sci-fi guy, so Star Trek is, like, at the top. You know what I'm saying? With shit like X-Files and Star Wars. And, you know, so get into it, y'all. This is the Star Trek collectible watch, NCC-1701. You know, from the original series, the one Captain Kirk control. So let's go ahead. We're going to try him on the wrist right quick. So just stand by. All right, now here you go on the wrist. That's fly as hell. Yeah, I'm rocking this today. I'm definitely rocking this today. There it is. Uh, yeah. That is definitely hot. Look at that. Yeah, look at the Enterprise. It's like it's floating around in synchronous orbit around the planet. You know what I mean? That's hot. That is hot. That is hot. Yeah, we like that. Well, this your boy P. Ross, and I'm out. You know what I mean? And um, don't forget, you know, to check out the SoCal Watch Reviews podcast. You know what I mean? Shout out to my man, Miguel. Go over to SoCal Watch Reviews to check that out. Or you can check it out on my channel. You know what I mean? Ross Wristwatch Love. Make sure y'all like, subscribe, comment. You know what I'm saying? Get into it. Get involved. You know what I mean? Because we're doing big things. You know, so this your boy P. Ross. And I'm out. Star Trek.